Hey friends, welcome back to my Southwest kitchen. My name is Christine and I just wanted to show you a really quick, simple dessert you can make if you don't have a lot of time. It is peanut butter fudge and it's only three ingredients and you can make it either via microwave or over the stove. I'm gonna show you the microwave version today so I thought I'd bring you with, so come on with. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do via microwave version is put the peanut butter, and actually you don't wanna use the natural peanut butter that you actually have to stir. You wanna use the one that it, you know is pretty solid. So I actually have the natural creamy, it's the no stir version if you saw the beginning of the video. So I'm going to take one cup of peanut butter and get that in a microwave safe bowl and we're just going to zap it for in 30 second to one minute increments depending on maybe your location, your elevation, etc. So we'll get that all out. And what you want to do is just make sure it's all incorporated. So this is a nine ounce bag and I'm using white chocolate chips. And then so we're going to put those together and we're going to just stir them and make sure that they're all melted before we add the condensed milk. Here's the first 30 seconds. So I'm just kind of stirring it all together. And it's already starting to melt pretty good together. Okay. Let's do another 30. Okay, here's the second 30 seconds. Depending on your bowl, it might be starting to get warm. And oh yeah, now look, it's really getting there. So maybe one more time. And we should be good to add the sweetened condensed milk. All right, yep. I think I'm just gonna go, because it is quite melted, I'm gonna go about 20 seconds yet. So, so far, two 30 second increments, and then I'm gonna do a 20 second, because there's just a few clumps left. Okay, so that was 20 seconds. And yep, we are all. So it's creamy smooth. There's no lumps or bumps in it. So for my elevation, it was about a minute and 20 seconds. All right, you gotta kind of move fast. So let's move over and get the condensed milk in. And then we're gonna get it in the pan and then in the fridge. Okay, so this is ready. I had a little bit of an issue opening the can, just me and my hand, but um, so this is a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And you just pour the whole thing in. And then you wanna make sure that it all gets incorporated together. And I made a big mess, but you know, that's okay. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit thicker as I'm stirring it. So let's get it in the pan. So I just have a smaller pan with some wax paper and we're going to put that in the fridge for at least an hour. And then you can cut them into small cubes and bring it to a party and you are the hero. You are the one that brought a wonderfully homemade gift wrapped in a bow. And you can see how it's kind of thickening it up here. But you definitely want, if you, you can use parchment paper as well, but I like wax paper for this specifically. And I just decided to do the white chocolate chips this time, which is really fun, and then it keeps that peanut butter color. 
and try to make it as even as you can. It doesn't really have to be real pretty because you're going to cut them up into little squares anyways. But this is just such a popular fun thing at the holidays, birthday parties, any type of party. And you really don't need a big portion, so you get a, a lot for your money here. Okay. And I think we're ready. I think that's about as pretty as I can get this. And it really hardly takes any time. So this is another one that you can actually put together and then go get ready and it'll be done by the time you're done getting ready. And then you just bag it up. All right, let's get this in the fridge. So it is all done. It's been about an hour and I'm just going to go through and you can just cut the pieces the size that you want. I didn't make this real thick, which is kind of nice. Oh, hello. Before he escapes into there. And so I'm just kind of making about an inch and a half across. And you can do, like I said, you can do bigger pieces, but this is definitely more potent than having brownies. And they freeze so well. You can freeze them up to two months. You know, not that they're gonna last that long, but this is like a fun, perfect little no bake. Like I said, you can do this on the stove as well, but microwave is so easy. I mean, it was two sessions of 30 seconds, stirring in between each time. And then the last one, um, I only did for about 20 seconds. All right, I made it all the way through there. And I'm just taking a regular knife and I have a spatula. And then I have a plastic container with some um, wax paper in, in it right now too, so they won't stick together. But this is just a yummy um, dessert. And you can make it look as pretty as you want. You can wrap up each individual piece, which I know some people do the bigger, bigger chunks. So like for this, they would take them in the longer slabs and then wrap them in the wax paper and then like put a bowl on it and put it in um, some sort of wrapping paper. And let's get these finished cut up. And then let's see how easy they come out. And you can see how much they've firmed up. So what I'm going to do is we do have a um, party to go to this weekend. So I'm going to kind of save the nice looking ones for that. And then I'm actually going to put like the ones I'm going to keep off to the side. But you can see that they're not real thick. So they're probably about a half inch thick. And that's what I like. You can use a smaller container if you'd like. And then they'll be a little bit more ramped up. So then they'll be a little bit thicker, but I think that's decent. And then you can make them also with different ingredients. This is what we just happen to like. So it's peanut butter and the white chocolate chips. And see how nicely it just like pops right out. And then I might just kind of slice off this last roll here yet to make one more roll for the party. Okay. And then I'm just going to sneak those little ones. So anyways, you get the gist. But yeah, it was just about an hour, actually not even quite an hour. And 
after mixing everything and they're ready to go. So let's get this video closed up. Okay, so a super simple recipe for a super simple dessert. Three ingredients, um, whip it together, like I said, in the microwave. That took me less time to make than it did to get the ingredients out, basically. So, um, yeah, all right, let's give it a try quick. I just kind of did kind of the ugly pieces for myself, and I am saving kind of the nicer square looking ones for our party but it is creamy good, the sweetened condensed milk, the white chocolate chips, and I did creamy peanut butter, which you can use uh, the chunky peanut butter as well. So let's give it a try. Rich and decadent. And I will be having some test tasters here shortly to see what they think. Um, but I do appreciate you stopping by my little channel and if you like simple videos like this, simple recipes, I, I will leave a, a list down below. But uh, I appreciate you stopping by and I will see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care and God bless. Let me finish this piece. Mmm. Wow. Okay. We are taste testing the fudge. Okay. Mm. Tell me what you think. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> Bam. Ooh. Nice. Booyah. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, wow. guys. Thanks. Mmm. Oh.